This is ex-Formula One and Le Mans star Johnny Herbert, one of the world's fastest racing drivers. This is the Porsche GT2, one of the world's fastest supercars. And this is the Grand Prix circuit at Silverstone, one of the world's fastest tracks. Quite a combination, which somehow I've got to beat because in a few minutes time, Johnny is gonna strap himself behind the wheel of that car, take it to the start line and floor it at exactly the same time. I'm going to sit in exactly the same car on exactly the same track and put my hammer down. The only difference is my car and my track are simulated. And these simulations are becoming more and more realistic because so much effort now goes into their design. While making Need for Speed shift, a car was actually written off in the name of research. And for Gran Turismo 4, they analysed the driving characteristics of over 500 cars. The latest cutting-edge driving game to hit the market is Forza 3 which took a team of 300 people over two years to develop and involved the help of professional racing drivers to ensure every aspect of the real car is reflected in the game. So, the Porsche GT2 I'll be driving is going to be as tricky as the real thing. And to add to the pressure, I've got just one lap and one chance to get to the finish line first. That boils down to 3.2 miles, 14 corners, and if it all goes to plan, around two minutes of my life. I consider myself a pretty mean gamer, but I've got to be honest with you, I think the odds are stacked against me for this challenge. I mean, that's Johnny Herbert out there, and he's driving a serious car, a £130,000 Porsche that can kick out 530 brake horsepower. So, to stand any chance of competing in this challenge, I've had to bring the ultimate gaming rig to the party. I've networked together three Xboxes, meaning I can run three screens simultaneously, extracting every ounce of graphical and audible information Forza 3 is capable of giving me. This is particularly crucial in a sprint race of this type, when one error almost certainly means disaster. Sound is also important, and I've gone for a diesel 5.1 surround sound setup. Just check out my throaty engine snarl. You'll know I'm sitting on the Vision Racer chair and framework, which I think is one of the best on the market. It looks the business. And the wheel I've gone for, it's a Fanatec Porsche style steering wheel and pedals. It's really well made and will certainly stand up to just about anything most gamers can throw at it. I was happy with my equipment. Now all I had to do was set up my Porsche for optimum handling around the Silverstone circuit. Down on the track, Johnny was doing the same by changing the settings of the car's stability and traction control systems. As he set off on his warm-up, I was bricking it. I'm really genuinely nervous. My hands are feeling a little bit tingly. Down on the track, Johnny was getting a feel for the car and looking pretty confident. Always tricky through here. Throws you around a bit. We've seen Johnny Herbert do his warm-up lap, yeah? And trust me, he wasn't taking any prisoners. There is only one mode that racing drivers understand, and it's win mode. With everything in place, it was race time. This is your 15 second warning. 15 seconds. Oh my God! Tension was high, adrenaline was pumping. Come on, let's get this done. Let's go, baby! Come on! Come on, baby. He's over that curb. I was off to a great start, and by the second corner, had eat out a small lead over Johnny. Third gear, not too quick now. Don't come off the track, man. 75, accelerating. Ready? Little break as it gets it rocking around. I was doing well, but then came my first mistake. Right, okay, I messed the chicane up, right? But I can pull this back. Come on, come on! Johnny had taken the lead, but he was also struggling. Been in third, fighting it. <laughs> in fact, both cars were exhibiting the same tail happy handling characteristics, showing just how close the game was to the real thing. Nail it, come on! Down the hangar straight into fifth. Breaking at just over 150. Fifth gear, I'm not too bad because I got to fifth before this big right hander. Okay, down, down, slow it down, slow it down, dude. Down to fourth, third, a bit twitchy as we go in. Don't lose focus. 
trying to get to the curb. Let me drift out and get on the throttle. Walls of hell. I was driving on the absolute limit, and a few good corners had put me back in the running. Nail it, nail it, go, go, go! Turbo! Rocket boosters, man! But my worst corner was coming up, and I knew that one more mistake would be curtains. You're a bad corner, you're a bad corner, you know it, I know it, yeah? But I just nailed you, so who cares? 145 down, third, second, went to Abbey, using the curb here. Oh, I'm so nervous, I just forgot where the track was. Over the curb. Accelerating towards bridge, 100 miles an hour. 90 round the corner, brake now. Braking, very tricky, second gear. 50 miles an hour. Brake, throw an anchor out. Someone just hold a parachute behind me. Yes, nail right that bad boy. I was into the final part of the lap. I've been driving for just two minutes. Keep the revs up, dude. But when you've got Johnny Herbert breathing down your neck, that seems like a lifetime. Slow right down. This is a really difficult corner. Okay, last corner coming up now. I never get this right. Into the last corner. Get the buck out a little bit. Go, 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 come on! Quicker! Quicker! This car's not quick enough for me! Really? Did I win? Did I win? Where is he? But there he is! Yes! The geeks won! We did it! I'd won by just three seconds! Oh yes! But Johnny had no idea of the result, so I ran down to meet him to give him the news. <laughs> oh yeah! Johnny! Johnny! No, no. Yes! I can see by the response. You can see by the way I'm going like this. I beat you, my man. <laughs> Oh, that's unbelievable. A few seconds, but it's a few seconds that will remain golden for the rest of my life. It was incredible. <laughs> that was really hairy for me out there. I did actually get the back end out quite a couple of times on, I on those stop, corners. I couldn't stop the back end. Really? So this, was, this was awesome and loose. Isn't it crazy that we're talking about this? I've never even set foot on the track. Isn't it mad? <laughs> that makes me feel even worse. I know, no, not at all. Look, I, I really enjoyed it, and you've made one geek incredibly happy, and a lot of geeks out there, I think, watching, gamers <laughs> who love their driving games, would have, would have you know, really enjoyed that experience. Thank you. Well, well done. Thank you very much, Johnny. I mean, I'm proud to have brought one back for Team Gadget. Yes. But you know what? Just the gaming experience of going up against Johnny Herbert was incredible. And he is a fantastic driver, yeah. Johnny Herbert. Isn't so he? Well he knows done. his stuff. And he was really going for it. He was taking it very seriously. In fact, I thought I'd lost it. Do you know what? I didn't, I didn't see him. I thought he'd gone past. <laughs> oh, but look, one of you jumped oh, yeah, in. Yeah, that'll be me. Stand back, Mr. Quiet. Bentley. Thank you very much. Got to go. I tell you what, Jason, you're incredibly fortunate to have had the opportunity to use a setup like this. Yeah, it's mm. brilliant. It's great. Oh. It's really good. No, it's brilliant. Yeah. Before this gets good, messy and everybody jumps on it. Just to try it and have a go. Uh, let's say, I hope you enjoyed the show okay. and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. 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 Get out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do a lap first, Honestly. please. Yeah. Yeah.